Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. Monica Lou here at the Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from the 26th of September to October 2nd. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Scorpio, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so Scorpio, your challenge is the Three of Swords and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So your biggest challenge here is the Three of Swords. I am strongly getting with the Three of Swords energy. There's definitely something here about pain, being in pain, being hurt over something. We're gonna clarify this and get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the recent past, Scorpio, you have the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Magician. So in the recent past, I do strongly feel there was a really big energy here of people wanting to work with you, wanting to cooperate with you, wanting to come together with you. I am getting a very closed off energy, pushing someone away, disconnecting from them, not wanting to be interested. I do see a bit of manipulation here, okay? In the past, I don't know if this was you or your person. I'm gonna clarify and get more information in a moment. Now, in the present moment, Scorpio, you have the Queen of Cups, the King of Wands, and the High Priestess. So there's definitely a strong energy here regarding someone else in your life, okay? This could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm also getting a Pisces, maybe another Scorpio or a Cancer. We're going to clarify and get more information and see who this person is and what this all means for you in a moment. Now, in the near future, Scorpio, you have the Two of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Four of Cups. Okay. So in the near future, I am strongly getting an important decision that needs to be made. I don't know if this is you that needs to make this decision or your person is, uh, this person that needs to make this decision. I won't know until I clarify, but what I do see here is someone here is rejecting the other person in the near future. And that may be the reason why a decision has to be made. And, and this decision may have a lot to do with, um, you know, choosing or deciding if you're still going to move forward in this situation that you're involved in, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into your reading, we're gonna clarify, but before we do, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I do strongly feel something here is gonna happen very quickly. Okay, something's gonna happen very quickly uh, in regards to you disconnecting from something or someone. Okay, someone here is choosing to disconnect, but I feel even though this person's disconnecting, it's not completely done uh, between you and this person. Why? Because Mercury is still retrograde and there are things that uh, are still not clear to us, especially during this time, okay, in this fog, in this fantasy that we're in right now uh, until the 2nd of October, okay? So this is the final week of Mercury retrograde, yay, okay? Um, so let's get into your reading and let's see what's going on for you. Okay, let's clarify your challenge. Okay, so the Three of Swords is clarified by the Six of Wands. You have the Seven of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, interesting. So your challenge has a lot to do, Scorpio, with something here that you've been juggling or a decision that you need to make, okay? And this decision that you need to make is causing a lot of pain for you, okay, or the people around you. I am getting right now, there is this kind of this energy of pushing people away or pushing situations away because you've become very successful or there's something here about fame, accolades. It's like people are watching you, okay? So your biggest challenge here, okay, if you wanna continue, you're gonna have to make a decision, okay, about this success that you have, people noticing you being, you know, some of you are like famous or there's something here about being very well known and, but at the same time, there's this closed off dark energy here, okay, on the side. 
And there's something here, I'm gonna be really honest with you, Scorpio, this is about you dealing with this situation because it's been going on for a very long time, for years, for some of you. It is a situation that has caused you so much pain on a very deep level that some of you don't even know what to do. But your biggest challenge is going to come along with a decision that you have to make because this decision is gonna determine if this success that you've been, that's been bestowed on you is gonna continue, okay? Because there's something here that you're pushing away and I feel, very similar to this uh, cancer reading that I did, it's almost like something's happening before your eyes and you're ignoring it, okay? There's an, there's an ignoring situation. But for you, what you're ignoring is the pain within you. It's like, oh, it's not a big deal. Like, I'll deal with it later. It's like, no, 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 you need to deal with it now. And that's why your challenge is involving the two of pentacles because it's a decision that spirit is saying you need to make. The more you hold on to this pain, Scorpio, and you walk around with it, the more the things that you don't want in your life come to you, okay? The more something here is off balance. So even though something here looks great on the surface, it doesn't mean that there isn't issues inside that you are being called to deal with. And that's gonna be a big part of your challenge for this coming week. Okay, so let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the seven of wands. The seven of wands pops out to me because it is a part of your challenge, which again, my intuition is telling me that you're pushing something away here involving pain that you experienced. And it started from in the past because I did say, I did intuitively sense that this is something that's been happening uh, for quite, quite some time now with you. You have the chariot, the two of swords, and the five, the ten of wands. So something here in the past became very difficult for you. And what happened was you said, no more. I'm ending this. I don't want to be involved in it. You started to close yourself off. Could have been a cancer in the recent past that you were dealing with. I'm getting a Libra here, uh, Sagittarius. I'm also getting a Pisces for some of you, a Virgo, and a Leo. Okay. I do feel in the past you tried to work things out with this person or you tried to cooperate. Uh, in many different ways in the past. Tell me more about the magician for Scorpio in the recent past. So the magician is clarified by the Hierophant. You have the Eight of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So in the recent past, I do strongly feel that you walked away from a marriage or a commitment or um, vice versa. Somebody here walked away from you or you walked away from them because of some sort of situation involving a relationship that started to become difficult. And one of the things that I see here, Scorpio, is when things start to get very difficult for you, you give up or you walk away. Okay. And that's what I, I see happened here. Okay. Or this person did this to you. Take it as it resonates. Now in the present moment, you're being confronted by someone here. Okay. Something, there's something about this fire sign that you're dealing with. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, is Pisces, Cancer, or another Scorpio. We're going to talk about this and there's an important message from your intuition. Some of you are not even talking to this person or there's a lack of communication here. Tell me more about the King of Wands. Who is this person in the present moment for Scorpio? Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This could be someone in your family, okay, for some of you or someone related to your family. You have the Two of Wands and the King of Wands, yes. So King of Wands keeps showing up. Some of you are in, a, in um, separation from someone right now, okay? You're in separation or you're disconnected or you and this person that you're involved with, this person has a difference of opinion and you have a difference of opinion. This person's choosing to go their own way, you're choosing to go your own way, okay? But the problem that I'm seeing here in the present moment, this has a lot to do with money, has a lot to do with legacy. It has a lot to do with inheritance, okay? So there's something here, uh, Scorpio, that this person caused pain to you or it caused pain, the situation. Tell me more about the Queen of Cups. What's the important message for Scorpio in the present moment? You have the Three of Pentacles you have the justice and you have the ace of swords. So you right now in the present moment, your biggest and important message is in order for you to get clear of this trauma, pain, there's something here about a um, calm before the storm or there's like a storm that's happening in your life right now. And this is very similar to the cancer reading. Some of you are related to a cancer or a cancer is very strong in your chart 
there's something here about the sign of cancer that's very con much connected to you. This is about you being open to working things out with this person, okay? Being able to set things right with this person. This is a big thing for you, okay? And one of the things that I've been talking about now, Scorpio, for weeks now is about you healing something related to your past that started to become very difficult and you ended it abruptly. Now is the time to set it right because this has a lot to do with finances. It has a lot to do with your legacy. It has a lot to do with your future, okay? So even though you're not talking to this person or you don't have the same opinion as them, it doesn't mean, and I do feel this is a family situation. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I'm getting a family situation. This is about you either making a decision here to heal and forgive someone or something in the present moment or choosing not to. But the problem that I'm seeing for you, Scorpio, is for many of you, how do I say this? There's something here about your success. The more you avoid healing and forgiving and, and kind of setting the situation out and working with this person to set things right with them, the more your success is compromised here. Okay. And that's the decision, right? Because a lot of you don't see this. A lot of you think, oh, well, whatever they have their opinion. I have my opinion. That's fine. But this is about you finding ways to completely bring something here back into balance, not only between you and this person, but within yourself, because you can pretend and you can ignore, right? You can say, oh yeah, that's fine. I'm not dealing with that anymore. I'm done with that. That's not a big deal, but you still reminisce about it. You still have pain within you, but you wear this mask as if everything is okay. Okay. This is the reality. This is what I'm getting from the reading. Okay. So a lot of you may say, no, 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 that's not true. That's not true. There's a reason why your challenge is the three of swords because you're still in pain and you still haven't been able to completely work through it. And one of the things I'm going to tell you, Scorpio, is the more that you don't work through these painful things, the more it starts to show outward that you're stressed, that you're full of anxiety, that you're fearful of things not working out disease for some of you, maybe diseases might pop up, right? So there's a need for you to recognize in the present moment, what am I still wanting to get clear on? What, do, how can I set this situation right? Because I think a lot of you still love this person or there's still some sort of loving connection here, but it's, it's affecting the family. It's affecting the family dynamic or relationship. Tell me more about the high priestess in the present moment for Scorpio. What is uh, their intuition trying to get, trying to tell them in the present moment here? Two of cups, the devil. Yes. And the six of cups. So this has a lot to do with someone from your past that you still need to forgive or you need to heal. Someone's connected here, a relationship. Okay. So whatever it is, the more you allow this situation from your past to remain and be toxic, the devil energy here, which is obsessing, um, doing things that are unhealthy that are related to this relationship, the more you compromise your success. Okay. So this is good. It's very individualistic. This reading, everyone's going to know what they need to work through and they're going to know what they need to set right. Okay. Cause there's something here that needs to set, be set right for you and this person to a come back together, this family situation to be brought back into balance, this relationship from your past to be healed. That's the only way you're going to be able to completely get clear on something here, Scorpio, to be able to completely move forward. Okay. And this is what often happens when we're going through our soul lesson on this plane, right? We get confused, we get uncertain, we get caught up in the ego. So this is something that is really calling your attention in the present moment to make a decision about healing and forgiving a relationship that is still affecting you till this day. Okay. You can lie. You can pretend like it's, it doesn't, but the reality is it does. And the more you let it linger, the more it becomes an issue. Okay. Now, near future in the near future, you want to move forward. Okay. And just like I said, in the present moment, I'm already getting that feeling from you. It's like, let's just move on. Let's move forward. There's a decision that you have to make. One of the things I see, the way I see this situation playing out, I'm going to tell you in the near future, someone's going to make an offer or you're going to make an offer. Okay. And this is about completely being able to move forward. Whatever this decision is that you choose to make or whatever this decision is that your person chooses to make, it's going to determine whether or not you completely move forward successfully. Okay. So tell me more about this offer in the near future for Scorpio. Now it looks like you're the one that's making the offer, but we won't know until I clarify. So the four of cups is clarified by the five of wands, the 10 of cups and the seven of pentacles, someone here in the near future, there's a conflict. Okay. And the reason why there's a conflict is in regards to a family situation or, you know, the person that you have a family with or a long-term partner commitment, 
somebody here gets into some sort of conflict because they're taking too long. They're, they're, how do I put this? It's like they're over evaluating. It's like they're reevaluating, 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 and a decision is eventually going to have to be made. Okay. A decision is going to have to eventually be made. There's a conflict. Somebody feels they deserve this opportunity more than maybe someone else. Okay. Now, what is this decision all about Scorpio for you in the near future? Two of Pentacles clarified by the judgment, the Knight of Cups and the Five of Swords. There's a lot of cutthroat energy here in the near future because someone here is wanting to move forward. I feel like this is you. A lot of you are going to be faced with something here that has a lot to do with you coming to some sort of realization. Okay. I do feel for many of you in the near future, there's a new beginning that's coming in. Okay. There's a brand new beginning. You're going to be moving forward, but somebody here is not going to like that you decide to take things into your own hands, that you decide to be, be very cutthroat. There's something here about you making a decision. And I feel like the decision Scorpio that you're making is you're very much focused on you and what's important for you, but you are also coming to some sort of realization about a specific person, whether or not you want to give an opportunity to someone or you don't. Okay. But either way, there's a conflict and this conflict, when it happens in the near future, it starts to realign you into a place of realizing what it's going to take to completely move into a new direction. Because for many of you, that's what is going to happen here. And it's going to happen very quickly, very unexpectedly, because this conflict cannot remain. The pain cannot remain. There's something here about really recognizing why this situation becomes the way it does. And it has a lot to do with something here uh, related to being not set right, issues, conflicts. All these things need to be set right in order for you to avoid the drama in the near future here. Okay, so it's going to be up to you. Now, let's get some advice. What is the advice? You have the Four of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. Just like I've been saying throughout your whole reading, the more you hold on to pain, okay, Four of Pentacles, the more you hold on to pain, resentment, uh, being unforgiving, not being able to heal from certain situations, the more you're going to find yourself under pressure and unhappy. And for many of you, your biggest piece of advice here is to move towards your happiness, move towards your fulfillment, move towards the things that you want to move towards. But Scorpio also realizes one thing you need to heal. There's things here about you needing to rest, recuperate your energy. Do not drain yourself. Do not be stubborn and hold on to something and think, Oh, well, it doesn't matter if I hold on to this, I'm still going to be happy. The reality is, is you're being tested this coming week. You're being tested. Okay. And you're being tested because for many of you, the sun is going to be entering into Libra, which is your 12th house. So there's a lot of things from the past that you still need to heal that you're still holding on to. And it's really going to affect you. Uh, when it comes to your happiness, it comes to your stability. When it comes to you being able to work things out with certain people within your family or, uh, within certain relationships, Scorpio, you cannot move forward. You cannot close something out until you face it. Okay. And this has a lot to do with you letting go of something, accepting something here, letting it go and accepting the fact that there is a need for you to truly heal on a very deep level. And once you do that, you're going to see everything shift. You're going to see everything move forward the way that you want it to. But this is what spirit is asking you and calling your attention on. Okay. So Scorpio, this is what I have for you. I hope you got something from the reading. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.